Good morning. It's Ascension Thursday, May 21st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, But Someday, and our scripture is Acts chapter 1. So, when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, The Father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses, telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. After saying this, he was taken up in a cloud while they were watching, and they could no longer see him. As they strained to see him rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they asked, why are you standing here staring into heaven? Jesus has been taken from you into heaven, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way you saw him go. But someday is a reminder of being five years old and hearing my father or mother's answer to my question whether I could do this or that. They said, we'll see. And with that began the waiting game, often accompanied by the whining of why, when, and it's not fair. Russell was never a silent sufferer. However, I always absolved myself of being a brat by quoting scripture loud enough so my parents could hear, How long will you delay? (laughs) My use of scripture was more a display of preschoolers' selfishness than piety. But it probably isn't any more unthinkable than the disciples asking Jesus, who was fresh from the grave, if the Romans and the ruling Jewish elders who crucified him were now going to get what was coming to them. The not-so-thinly-veiled agenda behind their question was more like, are we finally going to get to sit on thrones with you? And further underneath were hidden hopes and dreams. How big are those thrones? Are they gold-plated, silver? And are there jewels? How many crowns do you suppose we'll have? And servants and, and, and... The white-robed men who suddenly stood among the disciples answered the question of how long. But it was inconclusive to human ears. They said, someday we'll see. And just what does that mean for us? We of the instant gratification generation would be even less satisfied than the first century disciples. But scripture and history both reveal that the disciples went to work figuring out what it meant to them and what God wanted them to do about it. They started mulling over what Jesus had said to them the previous three and a half years about the kingdom of God and about loving and serving and giving and worshiping and being busy in God's vineyard. It was in that season of mulling they began to understand what living the surrendered life was all about. Scripture's account, along with the general sweeps of history the past 2,000 years, affirm that the disciples got it. How long is the question of impatience, not faith? Believers walk by faith. Still, the angels didn't equivocate. Their statement to the gathered disciples who had just witnessed Jesus lifted up to the sky and out of their sight, ascending to his Father in heaven, was that in the same way they'd just seen, he would be back. Now, if Scripture's track record on prediction and fulfillment bears any credibility, there is a someday coming. And our business as followers of Jesus isn't to question when that day might be or how long before we get to sit on thrones with him. Our question is, what's the next task for these hands, O Lord? For you today. In earthly kingdoms, there are no shortages of pretenders to the thrones, nor wannabes in the fame department. In the kingdom of God, there is, on this planet and in this day, a huge vineyard to harvest and a woeful supply of workers. Let's pray. Father, forgive us for hunting promotions when our focus ought to be on the lost sheep you care about. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road today. Have a blessed day.